Hey everybody, Jim Munchback from Family Wealth Builder of Houston. I just wanted to check in and say, hey, it's uh, the day after the election. I don't know about you, but I've been kind of interested in how the election will affect the market. And so if you take a look at the charts today, and I've taken a couple of looks, one of the things I've been following is Amazon. Uh, and you can see Amazon has had a bit of a comeback, had a really brutal October, which most of the market did. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd check in and share a little update and encouragement for those of us who wondered if, you know, October was going to go on and on. Um, November is here and Election Day with the change in the House of Representatives appears to be the kind of maybe governor. <laughs> you know, put the brakes on uh, the current administration. I'm not really sure. But apparently the market hates uncertainty, which we already knew. And so with the election behind us, we have a little more certainty. Uh, at least that's how the market perceives it. So I'm looking at a couple of, sh couple of interesting stocks that I've been uh, acquiring over the downturn in October. And I'm just curious how they're doing. So I just wanted to show off this. We've just upgraded our client portal with uh, Riskalyze, which gives us the ability to take a look at the. So you, it starts off, you take the risk survey that, you know, if you go to my website, familywealthbuilder.com, or you see in my email signature, you can take your risk profile for free. Anyone can do it. And you get your risk number. And then from there, we take. Uh, you can sync up your accounts or you can send me your statements and we can do a really thorough portfolio analysis to see how much risk you actually have in your portfolio. Well, when you become a client, you when you go to your client portal, you get to see a whole lot of cool things, including, you know, your gold tracker for your accounts, um, which should be popping up here in a second. And then you get to see your risk. And what I love about this is you can see each of your accounts. So Connie hates it when I do this. Don't tell anybody. But I just wanted to show a couple of the holdings. You can see there's a lot of risk in this particular account because it's got Amazon, Shopify, uh, Vertex, and Square, even Apple. So now let's take a look at those charts and just see what they look like. So if we look at Amazon, we looked at that a second ago, look at a two-year chart. I mean, Amazon has been a rocket ship, but um, everything that goes up pretty much sometimes comes down. And so anyway, Apple, I got a little position on an Apple. Everybody owns the FANG stocks pretty much. If you own any mutual funds, you've got a pretty good exposure to Facebook, Apple, Alphabet, Google, um, Netflix. Did I say Facebook? Um, there's a few others. But anyway, those are the FANG stocks. So here's a small company that I bought the stock. It's been going up, up, up. SQ has done well. So these are not recommendations. I'm just playing with uh, kind of sh showing. Actually, I'm just doing a bit of an update because of the market. Um, having such a good day after the uh, election. So let's go. I just want to go look at, uh, you can see, let's see how this holding is done. Amazon. Amazon's up about, in my account, about 13% not Apple. These other two, though, if, if, you would have ch if we would have checked in last week, Shopify and SQ were down. They got hammered in October, and I did not buy them at the bottom, but they're back to a pretty good place. Um, so anyway, there it is. I just wanted to pop in, make a quick recording, post this over on Family Wealth Builder uh, Academy. I'm getting ready to launch investor boot camps. It's going to be a short online course, kind of a mini course. It will be uh, platformed in Kajabi, which is very cool. So I'm going to be doing some training around risk management. That will be our focus moving into 2019. It's always my focus as a financial advisor, as a wealth advisor. Investment management is 
really part, it's, it's really a big part of wealth advising. And so uh, investment management and financial planning, I'm on my way to an advanced tax planning course in San Diego, uh, where I will be with a group full of, a room full of people, a pretty big room in San Diego, uh, CPAs and other financial advisors, wealth advisors, and we will be giving 16 hours of CPE to the CPAs who join us. And it's, uh, it's an advanced course for two days on, on specifically advanced tax strategies for business owners. So I'm excited about that. Uh, and that's financial planning. So the two things I do, investment management and financial planning, uh, investments are, <laughs> well, they are what they are. I learned a lot working on Wall Street, and I, I'm going to be showing in this course investor boot camps. I'm going to be showing you if you're a do-it-yourselfer. I'm going to be showing you how to construct a professional uh, model portfolio so that you can see what our thinking is in terms of constructing portfolios. And, you know, I'm going to make it available to you to see the holdings, why we selected them. There'll be a pretty good amount of content for a mini course. It's my first, uh, my first course uh, that I'll be putting together using Kajabi, and I'll be selling that course. But in the, you know, the first few uh, months, I think I'm going to make it available for free to, uh, well, I'll just make the announcement now to the first 100 folks who sign up for it at familywealthbuilder.com. Um, I'm going to put a link. It's not there today, but it will be there soon. By the time you watch this video, there will be a link at familywealthbuilder.com, which will take you to familywealthbuilderacademy.com, which is where I will be doing the training. So you might as well just check it out. I'll put the link on both sites, but it's familywealthbuilderacademy.com. Um, and you can also go to investorbootcamps.com. It's plural, investorbootcamps.com. They'll all go to the same place, a landing page where you can uh, check out the mini course. I'm going to make it available for $1 for the first 100 people uh, to try it. So you'll get a test drive of investor boot camps where I will teach you how to create a professional portfolio, how to, um, you know, what it takes, what are the ingredients of a well-rounded portfolio. And the real outcome is I'm going to teach you to become a fearless investor. And if you hung, if you're investing yourself, if you do it yourself investor, or you're a professional, <laughs> October was tough. So today's a good day in the market. It's been a, you know, the, there's been several up days in a row. Um, but October was brutal. And so we have some thoughts, not predictions, but thoughts and uh, thorough analysis or thoughtful analysis in terms of technical analysis and fundamental analysis with the S&P 500, which is what I focus on uh, in terms of making forecasts. So will the market continue to go up? Will it hit a new high? Will it hit a new high and then have a really serious pullback? These are questions that everyone I know in my business uh, would like to know. They'd like to know the answer. None of us know, but there are some indicators that we're going to be paying close attention to, and we have our finger on the trigger. We do managed portfolios. That's how we do investment management at uh, Family Wealth Builder Advisors. <laughs> so, but as you see here, oh, that's Family Wealth Builder Advisors. So we'll go back to Family Wealth Builder Academy, where we will check in and see uh, how to build a portfolio, and I'll teach you how to become a fearless investor. So check it out, investorbootcamps.com. That's plural, investorbootcamps.com. Or you can go to familywealthbuilderacademy.com, and there will also be a link at my main site, familywealthbuilder.com. I'm Jim Munchback, the CEO and founder of uh, Family Wealth Builder of Houston. And I'm also your host on Podcast Houston, which is coming very soon. You can check that out at podcasthouston.com. Till next time, have a great day.